Hey guys, Rochelle here with Amethyst Ascension. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for joining me again. So today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of the From Roots to Blooms Oracle deck. Now I backed this, I think only like three or four months ago. This one seemed to have come really quickly. Um, this was a Kickstarter deck. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm remembering. Um, I don't have the information right in front of me. This deck is so friggin' cool. I love everything about it. So this is created by Haley Wait, and it's a first edition 2023. It says, From Roots to Blooms is a deck rooted within the earth. Its messages are here to remind you of your worth and to hold space for where you are always. My hope is that you feel encouraged and inspired to nurture yourself with help from these cards. From Roots to Blooms. Love it. So, here's the inside. Oh, hi. Let's explore you from Roots to Blooms. Hmm. I love it when they open all the way like this. When it opens all the way like this. This is my favorite type of box right here. That's just perfect. So, I love also that the ribbon starts from underneath of it and runs all the way through. I mean, that is just really well thought out. This is a really well thought out box. It's just beautiful, just beautiful. I don't mean to be like gushing over a box, but that's a great box. So here is the book. Here are the backs. I did edge mine in a black. Let's take a look at the book really quick. It has more info on each of the cards. We've got From Roots to Blooms, an Oracle Deck and Journal Companion. Was lovingly conceptualized, hand-drawn, and co-written by Haley Waite, and generously co-written and edited by Joe Stepaniak. Stepaniak. I dedicated this deck to my son and my son, Robbie, and to my partner, Johnny, who are the pieces of my heart living outside of my body. Oh my gosh, I love that. I got goosebumps. For each person who holds this deck in their hands, may it hold you in return, validate your experience, and assist you in both healing and growing. Oh my gosh, he's giving me goosebumps here. Finally, to the backers on Kickstarter who helped me make this deck move from vision to reality, thank you with all of my heart. That's beautiful. What you will not find. Um, toxic positivity, ableism, cultural appropriation, and spiritual bypassing. Okay, good to know. Toxic, it talks about toxic positivity. Binaries, judgment, what you will find in, in these cards and in the guidebook. The roots, the blooms, the entries, single pull, three card pull, paired with tarot, elemental spread. Before you dig in, please consider how does your body feel? What does it... Okay, so there's just a lot of information in the beginning, and then it goes right into the cards. Oh, I like that each card gives you even questions. I had not even... I don't even think you need this. This pretty much says it all, but if you want to go further, that's fabulous. So wait, I'm going to show you these cards. Wait till you see them. I'm just... I'm in love. All right. Validate yourself before seeking acceptance elsewhere. Right on. Those are the backs. Love them. Hug yourself. You deserve tenderness. You are not responsible for their reactions, emotions, or behaviors. Exactly right. You already have enough because you are enough. Yupper. Practice trusting yourself daily. Love it. Their opinions are a, are a reflection of them. I love that. And I like that it's the reflection right there. That's cool. 
I love that she did all of this artwork. Like, it's really cool looking. Fan your fire. Rest and reset. Mind, body, spirit. Here's that sign you've asked for. <laughs> I love that. If it's heavy, put it down, even if only for a bit. Love that. Now is not forever. Right on. This too shall pass, right? What is bubbling up? Where do you feel it? If it costs you your peace, it's too expensive. Right on. Talk to yourself like someone you love. Yes. I have to remember that sometimes about myself. Please don't believe everything that you think. Oh my gosh, this card I need. I need it. Take a deep breath. And I like where it says, trace up on the inhale and trace down on the exhale. That's really cool. Do something for your inner child today. This was not easy to read. I had difficulty with this, but it is balance is the goal. Make friends with change. You, know? you don't need to be stressed and busy to be valuable. Right on. Your sensuality is sacred, not shameful. That's right, exactly. Quiet the mind. And the soul will speak. Doubt kills more dreams than failure. You see why I love this deck so much? She did such a good job on this. The sayings are just spot on. It's okay living a life that others don't get. Yep. Your voice and your perspective are valuable. Yes, they are. Blow on me and make a wish. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> Dirty mind here. <laughs> Find your boundaries and hold them. Love that. Go touch the grass. I accept my dot, dot, dot a little more today. Beautiful. Don't feel bad about feeling. That's right. I got a phone call. <clears throat> Find a routine that fits and show up for yourself. I love that. Perspective. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Leaves. Receive. Transmute. Release. If it's out of your hands, don't keep it in your head. This is another thing that is so important for me to remember. Be human to the fullest. Absolutely. When it feels safe, go deeper. Oh, I love it. You don't need to be available to everyone. Right on. Stop comparing criticizing, invalidating, punishing, hurting, shrinking yourself or others. Water your garden first. Exactly. Put your air mask on first, right? You are not too much, too sensitive, too broken to heal, too old to dream, behind in life, too hard to love. Ugh. Be who you need, right? Joy happens in the now. Intentionally embrace it. Right on. Release your regrets, fears, guilt, and shame. It's, of, it's okay to feel cracked or broken. That's where the water reaches the roots. Wow, I love that. Wave. This card around 
you to cleanse. Oh, how fabulous is that? Place me on your heart to receive love and support. Love that. Moving slowly is still moving forward. Yep, baby steps. Acknowledge your fear, your fears. Yep. Whose expectations are you judging yourself or against? Whose expectations are you judging yourself against? Ah, right. Where you plant seeds is where you'll notice growth. Love it. Make yourself rich by making your wants few. Hmm. Moon, intuition, ref reflection, and cycles. So I put it over here because there are cards that have the green in them. And they're specialty cards instead of just the, the like, black and white. But it's a little more like an off-white. Blooms, abundance, authenticity, attraction. Roots, depth, foundation, strength. Rain, replenish, flow, and cleanse with the water elemental symbol. Soil, grounded, sustained, at ease with the earth element. Sun with the fire element. Energy, Illumination, Guidance, Thorn, Discern, Deflect, Protect, Nutrients, Health, Nourishment, and Vitality, Wind, with the Air Element, Trust, Lift, Explore. Isn't this the most fabulous deck? Now, this is Linen. And, oh, what did I do here? Why didn't you tell me? Didn't you notice while I was doing this? <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm such a dingbat, right? <laughs> so let's see how this shuffles. It's just your basic... And I don't remember if it said how many cards are in this. I don't know. No, nowhere. I don't know. There's a good, good amount in here, though. I don't feel it's lacking by any means. Oh, yeah, it's a good shuffle. Of course, it's linen. Like I said, I... I put the black on the edges, but I think my black marker is starting to run out. So it's not as dark as it could have been. But let's just do one and let's see, or a couple and see how it reads out of the book, okay? Rain replenish. We'll do one of those and we'll do one of the other ones too, because I don't know if there's a, those are different. Give me one more. What do we got here? Okay. All right, so we'll do first the rain. Let's see where those show up. Is there a number? No, so these are in the back, I believe. Yes, rain, keywords, replenish, flow, cleanse, affirmation, healing rains, wash over me, flow through me, and cleanse me, leaving my spirit refreshed and replenished. Okay, so for each of these kind of cards, like the elemental ones, you have your keywords that are on there, and then just a little affirmation for each of them. Now for this one, let's find six. Where you plant seeds is where you'll notice growth. This is the, the two pages, let me read it here. Where you focus your energy is where you plant seeds that determine the direction of your life. Be intentional with your choices, make sure they align with your deepest goals and values. Planting seeds of health and happiness begins with the smallest thoughts and actions. Just as with seeds, size doesn't matter, as the scale of what you think and do doesn't reflect the, the powerful potential within. To plant seeds of calm, 
purposely change your thoughts. Sorry, I should have put my glasses on. Where are they? Uh, change your thoughts when you are caught in a harmful loop of negative thinking. To plant seeds of health, drink an extra glass of water simply because you know it is good for your body. To plant seeds of self-worth, be kind to you, be kind to and gentle with what you say to yourself. Growth takes time. Like a gardener, be patient and trust the process. So the questions to ask yourself is, where are you depositing seeds of energy and intention? Are these seeds serving you or harming you? What steps can you take right now? to initiate growth and progress in the desired areas of your life? And what role does patience play in your pursuit of growth and expansion in these areas? So I could see each one of these cards also being a spread. So using and even adding that in there, right? Maybe like a spread and then an activity or the affirmation afterwards, but an activity of some sort. How wonderful is that? Yeah, so there's three questions. Yeah, looks like three for each one of them. So each one of these cards could be like a spread a day if you were to draw one of these a day. And it's real, especially in a time when you need like um, some major self-care and... um. I haven't gone into this too deep on the questions and stuff, but I could see some shadow stuff being in there as well. So thank you for spending this time with me. I would love to know what you thought of this deck from Roots to Bloom. And I am sending you love always.